Hi guys, I just want to show you real quick how I use Monica's Marvelous Printables in uh, Cricut Design Space. Now what I've done is if you go on her Facebook page and you know you find one that you like and I actually downloaded one called Coffee Lover. Here it is, or Coffee Love, okay. And just go ahead and download that to your computer and I already did that, it's over here. Okay, so here's the PDF. Then what you do, now I opened mine in Photoshop. And that's what it looks like. This is the PDF that is opened in Photoshop. You can do this in Word or any other program. Now, as much as I love Monica, I do not want her logo to print when I'm cutting out my stickers, right? So what I'm gonna do is you can either, one of two things, you can cut that out or you can cover it with a white box. And that's what I'm going to do here. Okay. Here we go. Just going to cover it with a white box. So now I just have my coffee. So I'm going to flatten that. Now what I also want to do is I want to save it as a JPEG. So we're going to do file. Save as. Okay. Here is the PDF. I want to change that to a JPEG. Okay. Because then with the JPEG, I can upload that into design space. Okay, now it's saved. So we're going to get out of that and we're going to open Cricut Design Space. So here it is. So here's Design Center, Design Space. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload an image. Go here, browse. All right, then I'm going to find the coffee. Or it's right there, coffee left. I'm going to open the JPEG not the PDF okay and see here it's opening here I always save as a complex image just because it's so detailed okay and then continue and there it is Let's back up here zoom out there we go oops that's too much now with the select and erase that come here click on the background and it should turn that transparent oh it's a high quality image so it's going to take a second there we go see now you just have your coffee cups not cute okay make sure all the white space that we don't want is cut out then we hit continue okay and we want to save it as a print then cut image okay we do not want to save it as just a cut image because then it'll just give us the background or the shape like a silhouette we want to save as print then cut okay so you come over here to save well, save there we go and it's saving it okay that took a minute because it's um, a large file so here it is right here I'm going to click it there and I'm going to insert images over here. So here's my design, I mean my canvas, and there's my image. Now look how little it is, right? So we're just gonna make it bigger. Now what I like to do is I like to put it up here in the corner so I can see the measurements. And I'm gonna pull it down to about six, okay? And then I'm gonna hit go. Now if you'll notice, it's gonna tell me that the Printable image is too large to please reduce size. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to read, just keep shrinking it. You can do it that way or you can get to edit and you can um, do it here. Now I know I can't, I have to change that to eight because I usually can only do it like a five and a half by eight or a six by nine. It's funny, different ones sometimes. Okay, so let's try go this time and it looks like it's going to take it. It's thinking about it. So see how it's, uh, there's a picture of my mat and there's what the coffee cups will look like once I print them. Okay. There we go. 
so that's that's all it takes you just hit go and um, that's how I that's how I use um, Monica's printables on my Cricut I'm sure there's other ways but that's how I do it so thanks bye